Looking at specific genus and species of isopods, each with slightly differing care needs, we've produced a series of videos based on the species specifically. Firstly, where it comes from, the habitat it might prefer, and moving on to any care best practices for this species, which again may differ, if only ever so slightly in some cases, from a very similar species, or at least a species from a similar location or appearance. The Cubaris rubber ducky can be seen as a medium-sized isopod with a usual length of around 1.5 to 2 centimetres. As typical with the Cubaris genus, these will ball up into a classic pill shape on occasion uh, when moved suddenly or perhaps three or threatened. The Cubaris rubber ducky coloration is usually black or grey with a yellow head and rear end. This, as most species of Cubaris, can have quite a bit of variation within broods, which can provide some interesting results. The origins of the Kibaris rubber ducky come from the caves in Thailand within Southeast Asia. We draw off both from this soil composition in the area and the fact that the genus was originally found within caves. As you might expect, Thailand is hot on average, but just below 30 degrees centigrade. However, as Thailand is considered tropical, it can be more humid than the Mediterranean setups with a humidity of 60 to 80 percent. Based on the original location, the temperature should be kept around 20 to 26 Celsius. As the location is tropical, then there should be a mirror within your setup using the sphagnum moss as a hydration station, which would allow a gradient of water and humidity, but keeping it wet to medium side, which is a 60 to 80 percent humidity but never being saturated. Spraying of other elements of substrate will assist in maintaining of this humidity. Cork bark flat should be provided to, for suitable hides. This species is, are also seen to be enjoying the holes which decor such as limestone based rocks, game which would mirror the caves that they come from, might provide. This species will need a source of calcium provided with limestone based rock sources, which is much more sustainable than the cuttlefish bone used. They would, of course, need protein, which we find dried shrimp a good way to add this. Like most isopods, they will predominantly eat decaying hardwood and dried hardwood leaves, but fruit and vegetables will both be enjoyed. They have also been seen to enjoy carrot, courgette and sweet potato, amongst other vegetables. The isopods can be slow to establish and breed. In comparison, they breed much slower than the uh, Cubaris panda king. The Cubaris Rubber ducky can also take 1 to 1.5 years to reach their fully grown size. With the high humidity of this setup in comparison to other Mediterranean setups, then pest control would be a heightened factor as pests may thrive in the same conditions, so adding some spring tails might help to manage this. Thank you for watching. If you have found this video useful, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. This will give you updates on new releases of a similar nature. This is very helpful to us. We do appreciate it. Check out our social media links found within the description of this video. We also love discussion, especially if you have another point of view. Please add your comments. It helps us improve our content. We do have plans to make many more videos in the future. However, these might have content updates as our work progresses. Our videos might be updated and re-uploaded at any point as our research progresses. Thank you once again.